All right, so I have four different portraits here. I wanted to show basically this uh, Retouch Me 4 uh, filter or plugin for Photoshop that has really kind of blown me away with its capability. It, there's a few different modules that make up the whole Retouch For Me ecosystem, but two of them are probably the most purchased, the most used. The first is Heal, and the second is Dodge and Burn. Um, so I want to show you this filter. This, this is a plugin for Photoshop, but they also exist as standalone applications. So you can bring the, you can open up those standalone applications. You don't have to get into Photoshop. But I more than likely am going to be using this in Photoshop most of the time. Uh, one reason I wanted to post this video is because there was I I posted a link to the YouTube video. I discovered this retouch for me through this YouTube video from Unmesh with Pixen Perfect. He's probably the number one Photoshop YouTuber out there. Um, and, and, you know, it takes a lot to kind of turn my head. But when he was demoing this in the video, I was really blown away. So I'm going to show you what it can do. I'll first duplicate my layer. And I'll go to Filter, Retouch for me. And the first thing we'll do is remove the blemishes with heal. So that will come up. And this is the retouch for me kind of separate plugin panel that we can use to take a look at before and after. Now, if you zoom in and then there's an original option up here. If you click on that, you can see the original. You can see right up, right out of the bat that there are some blemishes. There's a, there's a crater or two and just, you know, everyone has blemishes. And when we run this plugin, they just are, they're gone. They go away. The AI in this plugin is really incredible. So let's take another look before and that's after. Now, this probably would have taken me when I do my retouching, I usually do like a frequency separation recipe. I have a couple of different actions that I run and <clears throat> it probably would have taken me, you know, a good five, 10 minutes to, to go through that. This is, this was done in less than 30 seconds and less than 15 seconds. So that's incredible. We'll go ahead and apply that. All right. And then we're going to do another copy of the background. And this time we're going to do the dodge. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dodge. Dodge and burn. One thing about the dodge and burn uh, filter here here is it so far it's mainly dodge. There, I haven't seen the filter burn anything yet. Um, blotchiness, you know, and skin tones that are uneven what it does is it fix the darker areas, right? So let's take a look at the original. So let's zoom in so you can really see what it's doing. Let's take a look right underneath her eye. So there's a little dark circle underneath her eye, or not circle, but just dark area underneath the eye. There's a little bit of darkness right here. Let's take a look at the forehead. And there's a little bit of just darkness right here. So it went through and just lightened all of that up with this dodge and burn filter. And again, more dodge, in fact, all dodge, really. There's no burning going on here. I, ha I have a few different examples we'll see. I have yet to see it actually burn anything to fix the skin tones with this dodge and burn filter. But who knows, maybe it, it will do it. Um, I just haven't seen it yet. So we'll click apply. And we're gonna we're gonna there is an option there to create the layer so we can see the mask and this is what it looks like. This is what that 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 mask looked like, or rather that uh, dodge and burn layer looked like. The AI went in, determined what areas were blotchy, what areas need to be fixed, and it fixed them. That's to them, to me this is incredible. And we're gonna change the blend mode to soft light. Okay, now it's very subtle. You don't have to go overboard. There's sliders in the tool where you can increase the intensity, but you don't have to do it. Let's take a look at another one here. Now, this one I did yesterday while testing the software, but I'm going to remove those layers. Let me make sure. I think I 
let me just uh, move this up here. Remove these two. This was an artistic application, artistic uh, layer. Those are the eyes. All right, we'll run the filter. <clears throat> we'll start with the heel. <clears throat> And let's take a look here. Before and after. And those blemishes are just gone. Very nice. One click. All right, we'll make another copy here and we'll do the dodge and burn. Okay, and you can see right away, these skin tones look incredible. Before, <clears throat> after, before, and we have shadows right here, we have them right here, we have them here, and there's a little bit right here. There's also some down below <clears throat> on her chest plate and clavicle and neck line, and it goes through and fixes those as well. Okay, so we'll click apply. And we'll call this Dodge and Burn. We'll call this one Blemishes. And let me set the uh, the Dodge and Burn layer to soft light, as we're supposed to do. And, you know, the thing about this is this is non-destructive. So if I don't like, like, let's say I think that this looks a little too perfect down here. And uh, I want to bring a little bit of... Uh, uh, reels them back then I can always you know go ahead and create a layer mask on that layer on that dodge and burn layer and then just you know bring back black reveals white conceals black reveals so you bring it back and you know I have it back it's there so I personally liked it so I'm gonna stick with it so that's another example all right let's do another example here and I'm going to go ahead and switch over to using an action. This is an action from Piximperfect from Unmesh. And it basically runs through and does the heal and it does the dodge and burn. There's a third thing that it does here called portrait volumes. That's another module that the Retouch For Me uh, guys have available. Uh, it basically is a dodge and burn layer and it and it uh, highlights, it, it basically accentuates the highlights and it accentuates shadows on the model's skin to give a little more depth and dimension. It was a little too heavy handed for me, so I haven't purchased it yet, so I just went in and turned off those steps within the action. So it's just gonna run heal and dodge and burn. So we'll go ahead and run that now. Takes about 20 seconds or so to finish. Maybe a little bit longer since I'm recording. All right, and then another thing it does is it it uh, stamps visible. So, but let's take a look at these one at a time. Let's zoom in. Okay, the, so the first thing that it fit, that it resolved or you know quote unquote cor corrected was the blemishes. So, look at that. To me, this is incredible. just pretty flawless you know the craters that are there it I correctly identified them and it did so a little bit on the chin on the and the neck as well looks great okay now we'll look at the dodge and burn and the evening out of the skin tones that it did I mean just just right there you can see a very big difference this is pretty incredible and you know from there you can start you can get into your own artistic interpretation if you want to run additional frequency separations or not additional but if you want to run frequency separation on top of this and you can do that like if I wanted to go and get rid of the forehead uh, lines then I could do that accentuate the eyes you know fix the lips so on and so forth
And then let's do a final one. This is a headshot session, and uh, we'll go ahead and run the action. All right, and again, just an amazing result. This is a very natural-looking retouch. There isn't anything drastic or fake about this. This looks beautiful. Um, this is something that can, if you're, especially if you're a headshot photographer and you're not doing like super artistic interpretations or doing a lot of Photoshop work and you're simply just correcting blemishes and subtly fixing skin tone issues, this is like, this is a lifesaver. It's a game changer. This is so quick. So there you have it. And, and I, I <laughs> I'm kind of speechless when it comes to this. I haven't seen anything remotely close to, to, you know, to this Photoshop has its own, uh, neural filters now that they try to, uh, do retouching like this on this level and it's nowhere close luminar AI also same thing It's not it doesn't come close to this. This is a new this is definitely new Definitely game changer. I, I'm super excited about it I hope that shows you how subtle it can be you don't have to go nuts with it but anyway, yeah, just really excited about this product and um, I can't wait to keep using it and showing off results